You know it's that time again to donate blood. HCC students, teachers, and staff have committed to provide such valuable life force in order to save lives. Hey, uh, the overview, uh, we came out, we got a projection about 15 students gonna come out today. Uh, each donation that we collect today, each donation is worth about three lives because the blood is broken down into components, whole blood, plasma, platelets. So today's blood drive is gonna be a big help to the medical center. Uh, yeah, this is an opportunity for them to, to help out the community and uh, this is an easy way for them to give. They don't have to go to some off-place location where they can give while they're here in between classes and or after class. Well, you never know who needs blood, so um, I always donate whenever I can, which is, I believe, a six-month period after you donate. So every six months, I always try to donate. Well, a good portion of our donations come from students, and a lot of students love to do the right thing, and we take good care of them because it's a needle, and a lot of people come down here to face their fears. So we take good care of them. And the donations are important because the medical center uses blood every day. Everything from car accidents, premature kids, to emergency surgeries. So it's very important. And then we get the, the we actually get the communities involved in this. So we actually just don't get the schools, but the surrounding neighborhoods are invited to come out as well. Honestly, it was so painless, and all the nurses were incredibly nice and kind. And uh, if you have time, just do it. It doesn't hurt or anything at all. Uh, from my experience of being here, a lot of people have some type of backstory that gets them to come out and donate. And we try to educate the community before things take a drastic turn or you need it yourself come out, get educated by us, get involved, come to us while you're healthy. Well, my company takes it back to the medical center and it's processed. Like I said, blood is broken down into three major components. So your blood is taken here, processed, meaning it's spun down, broken down into three components, red cells, plasma, platelets. And each donation is a separate, every donation broke down into three components it's a separate, could go to a separate person. That's why I say one donation can save up to three lives. So it's very important that, like I said, you come out and donate, get that small bit of education from us. And, you know, a lot of people got stereotypes that you're supposed to fast and uh, eat certain things. This is not a doctor's appointment. We want you to eat hearty, healthy the night before and stay hydrated. That little bit of education there saves us so much time on the floor. Come down and talk to us. We won't force anything on you. We're gonna take baby steps. We won't go no further than you let us. Uh, come down, like I say, get the education. We'll walk you through our screening process. There's no needles involved. Uh, we, would, we do require a finger stick though. We do check your iron. So we'll go from there. And after that, you know, if you feel confident and comfortable enough, we'll take you to the phlebotomy area. But even then, it's still an option. It's all up to you. But we will take good care of you. For more information, visit Gulf Coast Regional Blood Center at giveblood.org. For Stafford METV, this is Ray Molano.